Hello friends. I would like to continue the remaining part of the phrases, which already we have discussed in the last lecture. There are also some other important types of phrases, which include the word phrase, uh, prepositional phrase, and the adverb phrase. Uh, word phrase it is called VP. Prepositional phrase it is called PP, and the adverb phrase it's called ADVP. Uh, just like the noun phrase means NP and adjective phrase ADZP, a uh, phrase is a verb phrase if it is headed by a verb. Uh, it is a preposition phrase if it is headed by a preposition and an adverb phrase if it is headed by an adverb. Already we have seen that when whatever the verb phrase may be there, a particular word that should be the head of the particular phrase. Uh, we have seen last time a green shirt, the green shirt in this phrase, a green is the head word, which is a noun. So we can call it as a noun phrase. In this way, the phrase which has the head word, that is a particular phrase. Uh, there are, uh, if, it, if, if it is a prepositional phrase, if it is headed by preposition and adverb phrase, if it is headed by adverb. And uh, see the, some examples. Uh, some examples of verb phrase are walked slowly, ate the breakfast in the morning. These are the example of verb phrase, walked, ate, which are the words. But how walked? Slowly. What ate? And when ate? Ate the breakfast in the morning. Here, slowly, which is an adverb, modify the meaning of the verb walk. And in the second verb phrase, the verb the verb is modified by two expressions, which answer the questions, it, but what, and it, but when. Means we get the answer, what it, breakfast it, when, in the morning. In this way, that verb modified by two expressions, when and what. And in the first example, the verb, that is the slowly add a word, it modifies the meaning of the word walk. In this way, we have the meaning of the word more specific by addition of the modification. Here are some examples of preposition phrases uh, that in the morning on the table. In the morning on the table, these are the preposition phrases. But in these expressions, the noun phrase, the morning, and the table. Actually, the morning and the table, these are the noun phrase, but there is a use of preposition in front of the noun, which modify the meanings of the preposition. The morning, the table. In front of the morning, there is use of in the preposition, which modifies the morning, which modifies the meaning of the preposition in the morning. Even the table that modifies the meaning of the preposition on, that is modification. In this way, in these expressions, noun phrase, the morning and the table, modify the meaning of the prepositions. Some examples of adverb phrases are very slowly, too early, where the intensifying, the adverbs very and true, which modify the meaning of the adverb. When we see the adverb phrase, uh, slowly, and early. These are the adverbs. Uh, before that, there is also another adverb, very or too. We can say here very slowly, too early. Which are these two? Very and too. These are the words which are used in the particular adverb phrase, which modify adverbs in order to have the modify the meaning of the adverbs. As you must have noticed in the above examples. In the examples, you must have noticed that phrases can themselves contain other phrases. Phrases can themselves contain other phrases also. Means phrases within a phrases. Uh, in this way, you can say preposition in the morning and the noun phrase, the breakfast. These are the parts of the word phrase that ate the breakfast in the morning. See, phrases within a phrases means Already you have noticed, you might have noticed that phrases can themselves contain other phrases. How? Here, see the example here. 
preposition in the morning see preposition phrase in the morning and noun phrase the breakfast in the morning and the breakfast the in the morning is a noun uh, that is the preposition phrase and the breakfast is a noun phrase both these are the parts of the verb phrase how we can see here a the breakfast in the morning so these are the parts of the verb phrase here in this way we have here the combination or we can say phrases can themselves contain other phrases that is the example here ate the breakfast in the morning which is the part of the verb phrase which we have here preposition at the same time the noun phrase you can note uh, here not only words are in a sentence groups into phrases not only words in a sentence that are grouped into phrases but they are also uh, sometimes hierarchically organized within a phrase sometimes hierarchically they are organized within a phrase <clears throat> see the example here if we take the noun phrase here which is the noun phrase here a very dirty shirt a very dirty shirt it's a noun phrase we know that even though a and very appear next to each other a and very they appear next to each other here they have nothing to do with each other just there is appearance that exists in the noun phrase a and very which they appear next to each other but they have nothing to do with each other a modifies shirt whereas very modifies dirt a that is single it modifies shirt and very the word that modifies dirty so we can say it is very dirty together that modifies shirt we know that in this it is the explanation of the particular phrase a very dirty a and very they have nothing nothing to do with each other just they exist next to each other they have nothing nothing to do with each other but here a modifies shirt whereas very modifies dirty and it is very dirty that together modifies shirt in this way you can say that we should visualize structure of the noun phrase a very dirty shirt how can you visualize here we can say here see the tree diagram it is shown in the form of a tree diagram we can show it a very dirty shirt here we can on uh, the label series we can separate a shirt dirty a shirt or dirty shirt a very dirty shirt is a noun phrase complete once again uh, we can visualize the structure of the uh, noun phrase a very dirty shirt how can we stru uh, structurize visualize the structure we have different phrases here a shirt is one phrase dirty shirt is one phrase means there are two phrases in the one phrase a shirt and very dirty <clears throat> uh, here a phrase minimally constituted made up of the head of the word here what is head here in the earlier example we have here a shirt shirt is head so it is a shirt is a noun so it is a noun phrase np even in this phrase dirty shirt there are two words here shirt is a head word shirt is a noun so it is a noun phrase in this way phrase is minimally constituted or which is to be made up of the head word and np may be ideally made up of an article means article may be used in order to make the noun phrase so an np may be ideally made up of an article one or more adjectives and the head noun or it may also be made up of just only a noun now this can be very easily understood in terms of how one word can replace an an entire phrase in this way we can point out here how one word can replace the entire phrase here uh, we can see here the examples here hmm? uh, in the sentence in the sentence like the caption of the ship saw a huge iceberg see the example 
the captain of the ship saw a huge iceberg in this sentence we can replace here captain of the ship with one word say a name like sila or a pronoun like sea means we can replace here means in terms of how one word can replace an entire phrase what is the phrase here the captain of the sea that is the phrase saw a huge iceberg instead of the captain of a ship we can replace the word here sila or the pronoun instead of sila we can use sea now let us see how we can replace the word in substitute the phrase we can find that sila in sila saw huge iceberg instead of the captain of the sea in this say here the captain of the sea in the captain of the sea saw a iceberg play the same grammatical role here captain of the sea what is the role grammatical role that is the same role is played by the word sila in this way we can say here you can use also see see saw huge iceberg or sila saw is huge iceberg instead of the captain of the ship saw a huge iceberg in this way therefore there are considered that are considered examples of the same grammatical category that is the noun phrase whatever may be the replacement of the one word but that is the noun phrase in this way uh, thank you very much in this we are discussed we have finished the part of the concept of the phrase thank you